Damn. That ugly bitch look good sometimes. Sometimes. Yeah, no tattoo. Marry my mom's. Thanks for making me the man I am. I can see every day. Mess up, but you know, it's all good. What's your son's name? Carol. Carolyn Young Dash. There's my son. What's your son's name? Little Damon. We call him Boogie. This represents my crew. The elements of circular success. My company. Rockefeller for life. And, uh, my mom's again. So everything I love is on my arms. Damon, did Get a shot of his box head. That's right, I'm gonna pop out. Damn, that is the motherfucking nigga, boy. Damon Dash and I went to prep school together. I think he went to border school. Like that takes anything away from my credibility or my validity in the street. I'm like, yeah, nigga, I put myself in border school. I seen them go from hand me records out of their trunk to, you know what I'm saying, where they at right now. I remember I went to this party and I'm seeing these niggas partying and having a ball, buying champagne, and I was like, these niggas didn't even put half, they don't put half the work I put in. They don't have to take half the risk I put in. I gotta come get this money. Most common thing you hear about that nigga is he an asshole. I'm trying to put my foot in the door. I'm arguing points and giving me the nigga tail. Motherfuckers call me an asshole every day, but I don't listen to that shit because I know what's right because my crew tells me it's right and I respect him. I come up, they keep saying Def Jam, Def Jam all through, that, all, all through these reviews. He don't give a fuck about nothing but Rockefeller. There's no mention of Rockefeller, there's no mention of us putting together the tour. It's all Def Jam. He's the last person you want on your ass. If you ain't with Rock, he don't give a fuck about you. You're telling me exactly why I don't really fuck with Def Jam. Because every time we get next to y'all, they get the credit. We own our own company and we look like artists. That's Damon Dash. In a nutshell. Rockefeller or fuck you. Bleak man. Yo, Bleak. You got a jacket over there, alright? See this jacket? Shit. You see the Memphis Bleak? I didn't never have a Rockefeller coat that said Memphis Bleak. This is the only thing Def Jam got one up on. But other than that, Rockefeller is the home. Oh my God! Oh, you just dropped that one. All of a sudden, it's Jeff Jam Jackets with niggas' names on all over the tour. That shit is weak, man. They ain't been doing that. Everybody wants a jacket. If you want to do something, make a motherfucking hard night life tour jacket. We don't want that shit. No, no. Why do, why do I need Beanie Man and, and Memphis Week wearing a Jeff Jam jacket? They don't rock a phone. All of a sudden, niggas got jackets with their names on. And on, on, on our tour, it makes it look like a Def Jam tour. What is that? All right, all right, look, you're the president of the company, right? So that means you're smart. Am I right? But don't sit there and play dumb. Now, wait, wait, now, now, wait, wait. If everybody on this tour has a, a Def Jam jacket on, what would be the general perception of this when people were just walking around and don't know nothing? What would it look like? So then, knowing this, why would you be extra sensitive about giving everybody Def Jam jackets on this tour? Why? Why? You're a president, now you know. So either you're real smart or you're real dumb. It's one or the other. And I'm not going to say that you're real dumb. I'm going to say you're real smart. So you know better. You all know better. Hi. What's going on? So you guys want to find out what's on the official Def Jam tour bus? All right, come on up. We'll see what's going on in here. It's like that's what motherfucking Def Jam, um, was this the, um, Def Jam's Hard Knock Life on Russell Simmons show? That was love? That's a, what do you, how is that a mistake? How is that a mistake? Because Russell does not look at every single thing that comes up. He doesn't, I'm sorry, Russell, Russell, the person that to my own just fucking because he doesn't know that this is not his tour? He don't know that? So he knows that. So wait, are people at his company don't know that? Right, maybe not. Maybe not. If that's the case, that means the general public don't know that. The Death Jam tour bus consists of uh, nine video screens, uh, We've got digital curtains. Let the di let the curtains down. Let, her, well, let them check the curtains as they go down. The little things, the little mistakes you make are making, just because you're not trying to, those mistakes are making it so that it looks like it's your tour. No, sometimes you get tired of pulling curtains on tour, so we thought we'd get some electronic curtains. Look, y'all niggas are too fucking professional, and you're too smart to make these kind of dumbass mistakes. You all right? If Sony wouldn't do this, Lau gets his prop, RCA don't take that, Bad Boy gets his prop, Acid don't take that, The Face gets his prop, y'all gotta be out your fucking face in everything we do. Then I gotta be the asshole and yell, I don't feel like doing that shit all the time, I'm sick of that shit. Acid don't take that, The Face gets his prop, y'all gotta be out your fucking face in everything we do. Then I gotta be the asshole and yell, I don't feel like doing that shit all the time, I'm sick of that shit. Yo, 30% of my 
day goes to correcting your fucking mistake. They're going to pay me more for that? It is true, man. That's Les's towel. That's Big Les's towel. You just, man. Yo. The thing I told them when I came here is that we don't want to get overshadowed by fucking Def Jam's name, by Russell Simmons, and by your logo. I was guaranteed it wouldn't, and it's exactly the opposite. And you're not doing nothing to stop it. You know how you do? You give everybody fucking Def Jam jacket. This is our cool out area. We watch TV, uh, play Nintendo. 65. Hey, whoa, whoa, whoa. That ain't no love, man. That's promotion. Yo, who you think you're talking to? I understand. That's basically the inside of the Dev Jam tour bus. All I need y'all to do is cut the checks. That's it. We're taking all the chances. We're the ones that boycott the Grammy. We're the ones that motherfucking put our ass on the line and did this tour. And we still don't get the credit for it. What else? I don't know why, because you're fucking fat ass around all the time. Ah, 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 ah. Every time we talk, that's we bullshit. Feel like we're partners. We're not partners. <laughs> that, that, that's cool for you to say. We ain't partners. What are we doing? Y'all cut us checks. Y'all got 25%, and what's the name has another 25%. But y'all not equal partners. You don't think I know that? You and partners got split 50%. Absolutely. All right, so y'all not partners. You got a quarter. You're a quarter water. That's it. Yeah. And that's what happens when you're on tour with the hard knock mic. Dead Jam Records! I think the hip hop audience grew up a lot. It's a different time period, that's all. I started listening to hip hop when I was 10. So now our kids are going to listen to hip hop. I think we matured a lot. What happened to Big and Pop? Hip hop community is just tired of the bullshit. Now hip hop is so multicultural. Black, white, Puerto Rican, Chinese. I think we can do tours like you too, guys, if you're on tour for two years. The new artists nowadays understand the business aspect. And the new artists right now are getting paid. We definitely gonna profit off of our music. And the way they're going about doing that is not being a slave to the record company like Jay-Z has Rockefeller. It's not just Def Jam sign to Jay-Z. Def Jam had to take Rockefeller records. We all strive to get some ownership and to get our own label. It's like Rough Riders and DMX. It's an opportunity for them all to own something, to own their masters, to be the ones 10 years from now putting out some compilation out of their records and them getting the money from it. Look how far we came from 10 years ago to now. Let's think about 10 years from now. NYC, baby. Only thing about this, though, I just wish we'd been able to end it on New York, you know what I'm saying? Because that's your hometown, I just wish we got a feeling we coming here too, too soon. My nigga Black live on the phone from Clinton, you know what I mean? On the cell, how ill is that? Black Trump Yeah, yeah, you know what I mean? And it's nothing, it's nothing, we live, nigga. This is real shit. Blink, I heard you scared of Blinky Blink, nigga, I heard you scared of Nigga, that nigga with a battery, you scared. You been hiding from that nigga. Because I'm the one to do all the voices, you know. Fuck you, pay me. Uh, okay, okay. So now we got the guy who wants to work with Jay-Z. Any problems, he can go to Jay-Z. Yeah, that's Fuck you, bring Yeah, that's me. I'm yeah. fucking lying. The only thing I ain't bring me on a tour. I can't mess with that dude. Man. I tried and I tried. I can't mess with that dude. What happened to Jay-Z locker room? I got to talk to this prick. Right there, man. All right. <laughs> I'm gonna fuck the camera.